Well, pictures still coming in to uh, all sorts of different kinds of emails. This one coming in from Patty from Home Depot there on State Road 70, getting a shot of some ominous looking clouds out ahead of the actual storm. And the storms have weakened, uh, which is a good sign. And again, uh, we are looking at the, the chance for showers and storms throughout this evening, next couple of hours, not very severe and then, or not very strong, I should say. And then there's a potential for some strong to severe weather after midnight as the second line moves through the actual cold front itself will bring a better chance, I think. But look at that Casey Key uh, webcam showing that shelf cloud quite clearly there in the distance. And then beyond it, we're going to brief shower and then the sunshine coming out. You can already see that behind it, uh, kind of an ominous looking cloud. I'll step away and show you that nice, impressive uh, shot right there as far as the Casey Key webcam goes. Uh, and looks as though we will see. Uh, scattered showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm uh, through 9 o'clock. Another line, though, develops overnight. That one will be a little stronger. Uh, cooler weather to move in on Friday, and it will be getting windy. A small craft advisory will be in effect for coastal waters. You can see how intense the line was out here. Boy, looking at that, you would think we're going to get smacked. But then it weakened considerably as it made its way into our region. You can see some heavy to moderate showers occurring now very quickly into Manatee County. We've had some strong wind gusts up near Oh, the airport near uh, St. Petersburg. You can see the rain into Bradenton along oh, State Road 64, also into State Road 70. Some showers near I-75 near Waterleaf and then Siesta Key, downtown Sarasota. You see a brief shower there. That's that line just offshore of Osprey as we saw on the uh, camera there. And the rain will move through pretty quickly, as I mentioned this evening. And then the redevelopment later on tonight and tomorrow morning. Cooler weather to move on in. And currently we do have some showers at the airport. The dew point is at 66. The humidity at 73%. And the high today was 87, so before the showers had moved in, temperatures were warm once again. But we can say goodbye to the 80s at least for a couple of days as temperatures will cool tomorrow and Saturday. No rainfall officially at the airport, although it's raining there right now. We'll see the accumulation in total later on tonight at 11. The forecast for Friday does call for a chance for a few morning showers, but then partly cloudy throughout much of the day. Here's the line as it approaches uh, for us tonight. This is at 10 o'clock, and then as we move through time, so anywhere from 2 to 4 o'clock, we could see some showers and intense thunderstorms here moving through. Right now, it appears that we'll see strong, the possibility of strong damaging winds. The tornado threat has really lessened for us at this point. We'll have to keep an eye on it nonetheless. And looks like we could see some moderate to heavy rainfall. But by sunrise, most of the rain should be over for us. And we'll turn windy and breezy, as I said, breezy and cooler weather to follow. Maybe a light shower occasionally late tomorrow and into early Friday, but not much as the winds switch around to a northwesterly direction. The uh, forecast is calling for, uh, looks like uh, clearing skies over the weekend and cooler temperatures, uh, at least for Saturday and Sunday morning. Small craft advisory for us tomorrow. Seas running five to seven feet, choppy conditions out there. The water temperature at 84 degrees right now and the UV index tomorrow will be at eight. Uh, in the morning, not as high, but we'll start to see some clearing later on in the day. Tides, high tide will be at 652. And a low tide will be at 329, another high tide at 1019, and sunset will be at 805, sunrise 649. Tonight, mostly cloudy, scattered showers, and a few isolated thunderstorms this evening, and then more so around 2 to 4 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, morning clouds, breezy and cooler in the afternoon, a little bit more sunshine, a high near 76, and the extended forecast does call for breezy conditions on Saturday, and then it warms back up quickly next week.